Hello everybody, as everybody knows by now, EK issued the new design of the water blocks called square circle design. Whatever does it mean, we have all new family of the products with totally different looks from what we used to. So we got our first shipment of EK yesterday, so I decided without waiting too long in my usual manner to look on the supremacy block, which is um, a placement for HF Supreme that everybody like and use a lot in the past couple of years and see how the block look in person. Generally speaking, most of people are a bit shocked by the design decision by K. Most people don't like it at first sight. I saw the block about a month ago before everybody else. Um, was a little bit shocking at the first. After a month, it doesn't look as bad for me, but uh, nevertheless, pictures is pictures, personal appearance is personal appearance. So let's look how the block look like, what we get in a package. EK did a different packaging decision comparing with Supreme Chef. So um, let's see if it works it. And design is I of behold anyways. So different people have different ideas. What is beautiful for one, totally ugly for other. Oh, by the way, just talking about packaging, I really like that AK finally come up with a light box because one of the biggest pains for me as a store manager was looking at a black AK block which has a little label with unreadable letters which says it's acetal or plex or whatever and every time you look like this and um, still once in a quarter you mix up one block for other and after that you guess so every maze nobody happy and so on so now with a white blo blo box and white label which is much more readable orange is not like brightest color in the world in terms of comparing with black of course but it's still better to read than little white letters which probably always was smudged so this is a I definitely applaud that EK decided to go with a white block my personal life is became much easier just because of that all right the book itself we have um, not much different from Supreme Chef Typical bunch of screws, very similar to each other again. Uh, one thing that I see right away is that look on design of the plates. So you remember that Supreme Chef originally you have uh, like five plates coming on. After that, it, it case said, oh, nobody cares. And they screw them out and just leave one plate in Supreme Chef. In the, its latest revision four. Now we seems like we're coming back to multiple plates so something obviously installed in and you have two more plates this is look like plate six that was recommended to Prima chef as the most highest performance one this huge plate which is similar to um bits power block by the size probably for somebody who wants really high flow and um, we'll look later what's actually inside Backplate, look like universal one. Actually, it's not a backplate. I think it's mounting for AMD platform. Okay. We have our thermal paste. Probably twice as big than we used to have. I'm not sure the brand. Oh, actually, it's a Jellied Extreme OM version. So, AK decided to shift to Jellied paste on the bottom of the box this is our universal backplate actually there's a two of them as I see and I think actually one backplate is not back it's it's for 1155 socket when you have to replace um, Intel supplied or motherboard supplied backplate with proprietary backplate to install your block and this this one is universal backplate for all other type of motherboards except of course the latest 2011 which has a post you don't put screws through the motherboard completely all right that's what we all was waiting for such a long time 
let me open the package usually it doesn't look much different from Supreme HF to be honest it's the same square type of oh. I'll take it out all right here you go that's what I'm talking about so from the back of the block it's where you look like HF the square and this is our circle design so it's on the photographs and if you let me look on myself as I'll show you in the camera I don't think it's that ugly I'm not sure about still GPU blocks which is totally square but for the blocks it's kind of weird because the corners is not rounded but um, the setting finish actually looks a little bit better than I thought it's kind of neat and this is a copper version so you can see that there's orange stuff going through you have a EK badge in the corner that will be applied for every block that you can have doesn't matter ROM or GPU or CPU block and um, looking at this of the size of the back plate it's very much look like the same as this to be honest with you so I'm not sure what the deal here was two similar back plates inside and um, let's uh, let's open the block and see what we have inside of it old corners out and um, we'll see the bottom plate itself looks a little bit bigger a seeker I would say comparing with the bottom plate on HF but let's see on internals okay so this plate that's supplied and the plate is installed exactly the same as I can see it so I'm not 100% sure what the deal here okay no it's not defect it's actually for holding corners for holding plate plate in, in place similar to what we saw on bit power block and what I want to see is is a micro channel structure so you see the micro channels here probably at least twice as small comparing with a silver one is um, summit ef by coolen oh, sorry by bits power so what i see here is that HF is a much 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 smaller the question is that it could be interesting to test is um, the small channels actually give you any major benefit in terms of the cooling performance or is it just add a restriction and act more as a filter and um, do not provide any improvement so this question to be answered eventually I definitely will try this power block in my build and see what kind of temperature I will get but maybe I switch at certain point and um, and see what's happening if we put su supremacy block in to get any, any improvement in temperatures that's what we get from this block I hope uh, you enjoy this little update not much to say without actual testing the block but the visuals at least you get a little bit better idea in high def on the looks versus the photographs that everybody saw on the internet by now well thank you for watching and coming back with more updates soon